let's go in here and edit around our Gundam mobile suit. Uh, we got some new parts. I'm not trying to put an SD Gundam head on here, as great as it looks. Uh, let's go over to specs. Gundam Kyrios head, however, raises my HP because it has HP capacity level 6. Uh, we lose a thing, don't we? We lose head Vulcan if I do that. But we gain 80 HP. Uh, we'll keep the gun cannon head. Uh, body. We did get a level 4 a savior Gundam body. Still all the same stuff, just a different body. HP recovery when parts lost, flinch damage defense 7. Flinch damage defense level 3, max duration hit combo level 3. It's actually looking like stats might be a bit better here. Eh, why not? Change it up. Well, I lose that thing for my uh, mobile suit. I don't get that weird little thing that sticks out anymore. I'll keep what I got. I like the design. Uh, did we pick up a level 4 arm? We did not. We picked up a level 2 Hayakushiki. Uh, over here we have a level 4 arm, but I would not mind replacing it. And with Aegis Gundam we get an EX skill. With Savior Gundam we get a uh, OP skill. It is more EX skills. Let's do that. All right, legs, which are also at level four. Build strike Gundam. Our movement speed will increase. Oh yeah, let's switch down to some SD Gundam legs. That seems like a great idea. My one arm, my long arm is gonna be dragging on the ground if I do that. Ugh, SD Gundam. All right, we're keeping what we got. Oh boy, we can do this. It's a level four. Get a big old rocket SD gun. It actually doesn't look too bad. It does look comical though. Kind of like a toy attached to it. Doesn't look very serious. Uh, but we're not going to. We're not doing it. We got the Gundam Curios, and that's what's giving us Trans Am. Is this elongated backpack back here? Uh, we got the beam spray gun. And that's level four, so we're gonna keep with that. It's almost positive I switched to the GN Lance last time. It must not have gone over. But that's what we're gonna be using, because I get an achievement for using it. Uh, shield we're at level four, so we're good there. Do we wanna add. Sturm Faust doesn't really say, it just says Sturm Faust. I guess it shoots rockets, rockets on rockets. Um, EX skills, we got a new one. We don't have a new one, I gotta have both arms. Even they both have the same type of ability, we need matching arms in order to use that ability. Well, sh shoot. Uh, any LP skills? No, we're good. All right, plot changes. How much of a change? We got a new arm. Bounty Hunter is a mode that allows you to battle rivals online. Except for it's a CPU, I think, that uses it. Take down other players participating in Bounty Hunter to receive a reward. The reward amount is proportional to the amount that player has earned. And the more expensive the bounty, the stronger the mobile suit will be. Your own mobile suit will also battle other players. Mobile suits as a bounty. Gundam Frevris. Tau SD Custom. Mirage Knight. Oh, it's just showing me like the specs of what everything is. Gundam Claria. Just want to go, who's our highest right here? Gustav Carl Cannon. That's who we're fighting. Gustav Carl Cannon. Oh, choose more options. Let's just go with all the, the big hitters. Armored Heavy Arms. And Gundam... Coronatus? 
Oh, it's got cubely parts. Cubely arms. With Lillian. There we go. Lillian, Lillian. That's who we're taking. Oh, I can make him use Shining Gun if I wanted to. I don't want to do that. We're good with who we got. Let's go. Chances are my teammates are going to not make it out alive in this. But that's something that I would do in Gundam Breaker 3 all the time is I would go into Bounty Hunter if I ever needed uh, some credits. I would just go after whoever the highest tiered person was. And that's what we're going to do here. Ah, uh, yeah. Where they at? Where they at? Beautiful. Yeah, they are. I lost my shield. Need my arm back, thank you. Awaken. Oh no, I'm just a Bodhi.
Almost got him down. These guys are hardly doing any damage to me. He's missing his legs. Got him defeated. Let's get this one completely down. You guys both want to stand in front of me, I don't mind, that's gonna help me out. Booyah! Juggle them while he's in the air. Got you cornered, buddy. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Ooh, ooh, okay, he's doing something. Oh.
No, I shot off my arm. Took them down, all three defeated. Woo, 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 woo. Lance Glare cleared a mission with the Lance type weapon. Didn't get really much on uh, Builder's Rank there. We got some uh, Break Diaz arms. Uh, what else did we get? We got some legs, Destiny Gundam legs. Gundam DX Lakes and uh, that's it now we got some more parts off of that cleared a bounty hunter mission with a 10,000 bounty or more cleared a bounty hunter mission for the first time those achievements unlocked getting those easy achievement pickoffs gained a new title gained a new title journeyman hunter gained a new title Rookie Hunter. I think Rookie is better than Journeyman. You just know that I'm a hunter and I'm a hunt them down. I'm gonna take them out. Uh, since those parts were just uh, hot garbage, let's go ahead and move on to another mission. In quests, you can enjoy battles with various rules. New quests are added and unlocks as you progress through the story. Let's go take a look at quests. These missions allow you to enjoy battles with various special mission rules, as well as those that use special maps. Progressing through the story will increase the type of mission available to choose from. You can also obtain gunpla parts and enhanced materials on quest. So if you find yourself stuck trying to progress through a difficult story mission, it might be a good idea to give these quests a try. Uh, HD Gundam NT, if we do this one. Suppression quest, exterminate the mobile suits that appear and take control of the entire field. Just a suppression. Recommended parts level four, which is what we're using. We can get some emblems. Look at all those different emblems right there. We can get Gundam NT. We can get double bazooka left and right. Let's go. <laughs> Just try to keep up with me, okay? No. Jumped in the air, you fool! Hello there, Jagger. Ju Juaga? Forget how it's pronounced. But another amphibious type. Ooh, missed him. You know how cool it would have been if I would have caught that guy in the air and slammed him down? Take it down, anybody else? That guy. Yeah, I took him down with these. And guess what? You're next. You got a problem, guy? AC guy.
Down he went. Got a machine gun out of that. A little assault rifle. Nice. Let's keep it going. Next area. Build mission unlock exterminate all mobile suits. Those little goofs. This is a tank. With the Zaku tank. It was the Zaku tank. And there goes gun tank. Where's the next? There they are, gyms. Gundam ground type. Oh, we missed. Enemy approaches, bring it on. Fresh from the box, it's the Gundam. Stabbed him. Stabbed him multiple times with a lance. Hoo, Ready to go. Ready to go. Oh. They gonna cool me down? Do I get to start in my uh, awakened? I do get to start in my awakened. Awaken. 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 Look at these guys. They gave Zong a leg. Whoa, boom, boom, boom. Boom, knock both of you up. Trans Am. And you are out of here. Says, was it Zong and he's got a katana on the side? He's got some sword on the side. Boom! Stabbed him through! Zong? <laughs> Woo! Completed a quest. A perfect score! Are you some sort of new type? Absolutely. Just make my ego bigger. Lots of emblems. Backpack. GP. So much GP. Builder rank four. We get a preset color for these guys. On the screen. Right there. 
to the next we get uh, beam saber level one anything level four got an ac guy head that's level four let's see full armor gundam thunderbolt version this is a new burst action full open attack if we use it maybe we will we got the old uh, juagu Wago. Got their arms. They got perfect Zong's arms. Uh, golf custom arm. Nothing really here. Gundam ground type backpack. That big old backpack. Gundam NT. Alright, we're good. And there you have it. That was Bounty Hunter Quest. Well, Bounty Hunter Missions and Quest Missions. Uh, quest just mainly to earn other parts, which we're going to be using to make our Gundam, our mech, look so amazing. And then Bounty Hunting is great for earning credits if you happen to be short on credits something big I used in Gundam Breaker 3 and I'm glad they carried it over to Gundam Breaker 4 now I don't want to spoil too much of what's about to happen with you know this video that's just going on in the background but of course we're going to be updating our unit into something so much better but you won't get to see that until next week anyways thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next game of Gundam Breaker 4. Goodbye.